ready to shake down with the Ninjago Master of Spinjitsu set. This is um, set 70756 Dojo Showdown. Sit, um, ages 6 to 14 with 215 pieces. Alright, let's jump right on. So this is the box. It has a cool little design right there. You got the logo. All the crappy information. Here's the minifigs. We have Kai, Griffin Turner, Slevin, and Karloff. And this is a look at the back of the box. Those are the features, and that is some app you can get. Let's get on to the minifigs. First, we have Griffin Turner, Elvis's cousin. Now, Griffin Turner, um, I really like him because he is exclusive to this set. He doesn't come in any others. And he has a very nice garment on staff. He has the cool shades, um, this kind of robe and the hourglass. But he's the only character in this set with the back face without the shades. And I really like him. Next, we have... Kai in his Tournament of Elements robe. His weapon is just kind of toothed on a golden staff. He himself has the face mask instead of the head mask. He has a nice hair piece made out of rubber. I really like it. He has the symbols right there. Really nice torso printing. I, I don't really like the leg printing, but I do like the symbol on the back. Next we have Karloff who is exclusive to the set. Karloff has his helmet that you will see a lot. He has that face where he kind of looks kind of like a lumberjack. Um, he has these slip-on mittens that you can just pop in real easily and they're really cool. He has, um, he has a body armor and he has this really cool symbol in the back. You can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it. Last but not least, we have Slevin. Slevin has this weapon that um, you build. It has two teeth with the brown stuff. And Slevin himself has this helmet, which is an anachondrite skull. It's rubber, so it doesn't go on as well. It can slip off really easily. But I really like him because he has this really nice torso printing of two snakes. He has these really nice leg printing. And the face printing is really nice. I love how it has this two snakes and it's half white, half yellow. Here's the look at the back of the minifig. Not much. It doesn't have a second face. So that is it for the minifigs. Now let's get on to the set. Okay, guys. This is the Dojo Showdown. And first, we're going to start off with the training area. What? What? This place. So, as you see here, we have a training. It's, I think it's supposed to be wood with two swords and from Star Wars droid hands. And it spins. It doesn't spin as well as when it's off the um, Base. tile of the stuff. And then, so that's basically all you can train with it. It's a pretty fun thing. And then next we have this. We're in the show. Karloff, uh, I'm not Karloff, Elvis's cousin, Tonal, is supposed to be locked up here, and he runs on the walls. What? So as you can see, they have two wall studs, where you can lock that chain up on the foot, and then you can kind of run on the wall, it's a really cool feature. So my brother Ben will kind of set it up there. Wait, that I'm pretty hard to do actually. Like See that. like that, because he's the master of speed, so he runs a lot. Next, we go into the jade blade. Now, I'm sorry, I we couldn't fit the jade blade in the right way, so if my brother would just turn that around. There's the jade blade. It looks really nice. And it's stuck there, and everybody always fights over the jade blade, and that's Kai's jade blade. So now we're going to get on to the jumping pads. So as you see here, Kai would be jumping up to get his J-blade. Like and, over the spikes. And now you would think that would be really easy. But, but no, look, there look, always look. has to be a trap. See? No. He's standing there. It's like, ah, I got it. Trap door. Now if we turn that around, 
If we turn that around, it's a, a simple lever with one of those triangle pieces that you simply just pull. And it's really nice mechanicism. It's not hard at all. It's really easy to build. So I really like that feature. It makes it way more fun to play with. And let's take tonal off. That so next, what I really like is we have these two glass pieces right here that aren't actually stickers. They're printed transparent pieces and they look really nice. We have two of them, so it's really nice. I enjoy that they take the time to print those. And we have these flick fire missiles don't that don't fire. shoot really well. They're not the new type. So if we just do a demonstration. See, they didn't fire very far. I'm not really impressed, but I really like the set overall. We have these two, this hourglass sign right here, and, and we have the Kai fire sign. Down here we have the fire, so if your guy falls <coughs> in, he's on and fire. And like, it's like a mountain. It's trying to like, this is rock. And over here, um, in the back of the dojo, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to set your guys up and play, it has really nice play features. And so that's it for the set. So I'll give you just one last look at the box. Um, that's it. There's the mini figs, the features. And there's one last detail. Well, these two leaves are cool. So it matches the one. Yeah, it kind of gives it's you a foresty feel. Yeah. So I like how they add that detail in. Makes the set really fun to play with. Like it's in the jungle. So, bye. Bye. Don't forget, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. Bye. Watch again.